In today's video, I'm going to share my top 5 combat tips and tricks when it comes to PvP and hand-to-hand -hand combat in the Sea of Thieves. So pull up your ship, come aboard, and we'll have our pirate conversation. Number 5. Know your weapons. There are four types of weapons in the Sea of Thieves. You have your cutlass, your flintlock, your blunderbuss, and your eye of reach. The cutlass does 20% damage per slash, and does a total of 60% damage if you can marry it with a combo. The last hit on the combo does not back. Another advantage of the cutlass is the lunge. The lunge does 50% damage per lunge, which means if you do two lunges back to back, you will send the pirate to the ferryman. Another quick tip here about the sword lunge, something that you want to keep in mind. Anytime you want to do a lunge, you always want to start it off by doing a block first. You'll keep your mobility in the lunge. Here's an example of me doing a lunge without the sword lunge. Look how slow I'm moving. Now, let's show you what it looks like with a block. Blocking first, I'm able to keep my mobility, which makes me a harder target to hit. Another great thing about the sword lunge is it's a fast way to move around the seas. If you time your jump proper right on the sword lunge, you will launch yourself. I use this quite often to get around. I also use it to board other ships. Another great thing about the sword is the block. This can be used to defend yourself from other pirate swords, as well as when your block is up, you can do a quick jump in any direction. Example here. This has saved my life more times than I can count, and I can't recommend it enough. Another type of attack that you can do with the cutlass is the running slash. Normally when you're running forward and you slash, you slow down to a slow walk. But, if while you're running forward, you quickly attack and block at the same time, you won't slow down at all, and you'll keep the running speed up. Next we have the flintlock. The flintlock does 50% damage per shot, which means two shots will kill a pirate. The eye of reach does 80% damage per shot. Combined with a cutlass or a flintlock, you can bring down an enemy pirate very quickly. The blunderbuss does 15% damage per pellet, which means if you get right up close to a pirate, It'll one-shot them if you're lucky. The next thing to consider is the reload speed of each weapon. Here I'm going to compare them side by side. Now as you can see, each reload speed is a little bit different and you're going to want to find something that matches your playing style. There's lots of different weapon combos within the game. I prefer the Cutlass and the Flintlock. One of my mates prefers the Eye of Reach and the Blunderbuss. The important thing here, boys, is to find what you like and use that. Find your playing style and match it. Number four, stay on the move. Don't just stand in one spot. You want to make sure that in any player versus player combat situation that you are staying mobile. This makes it harder for you to be shot and gives you the advantage. Constantly move around the ship, go from the top deck to the middle deck. My recommendation is to stay away from the bottom deck, which usually ends up with you getting killed. Number three, practice your shooting. I constantly practice my shooting when I'm sailing around. I do this by shooting the bell on my ship, which lets me know when I hit it. I also jump around and no scope, just to get comfortable with my shooting. Lets me know when I'm on target. And it's a great way to warm up throughout the day. Number two, keep your wits about you. In any PvP scenario, your heart is going to be racing just a little bit. It's important to keep your wits about you and read this situation before you. How many pirates have you sent to the ferry? Is there any gunpowders up top in the crow's nest or near the ship? How much ammo do I have? How many bananas do I have? Am I full of supplies? Do they have any cursed cannonballs that could be used against my ship? Is backup on the way? Where's my health at? A good tip here, boys, is to always start your fight with full health, especially when versing players with an Eye of Reach or a Blunderbuss. An Eye of Reach can make quick work of you if you don't have full health, and the Blunderbuss, if used properly, can one-shot you at close range. So you always want to make sure you are healing up during combat. Another thing I want to mention is to have an understanding of what is happening around you will help you come out on top. Number one, the advanced sword lunge technique. 
Now let's talk about the thing you're all here for, boys. The sword lunge technique that you see me use in many of my videos. When used proper, this technique can make quick work of any pirate on any ship in any situation. Block. Attack. Hit. Block. Jump. Attack. Now let's break this down in some combat. Here I am lunging. I attack. I hit. I block. I jump. Attack. Hit. Block. Jump. Attack. Hit. The final piece of advice I have for you is this. Get comfortable in PvP combat by engaging in it. The only way you get better is to fight other pirates. The more you do it, the better you will get and the easier it is to outthink your foe. If you like this video and want to see more like it, push that like button. And if you really enjoyed watching, go ahead and push the subscribe button while you're at it. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you out there.